editor Garen Lamley and chief writer Rob Howing join us in studio this Monday morning for a wrap of some of the weekend's sports results, namely the Super Rugby Week 3 and of course the first test between South Africa and Australia which has just wrapped up this Monday morning. Gents, good morning. Thank you very much for coming in. Morning, Nick. Quite a lot to chat about on the cricket front, uh, Rob, but uh, let's start with the rugby. Uh, South African results... Um, obviously, we had the big Yuxke derby uh, between the Bulls and the Lions. Were you perhaps a bit surprised how the Lions performed? Um, and then, of course, there was uh, the uh, Crusaders, Stormers, uh, Sharks, Waratahs. Bit of a disappointing draw between the Sharks and the Waratahs. Yes, um, good, good game. The, the best positive you could take from a South African point of view was that the Lions played very well again. Um, I think they've now scored 18 tries mm. in three games, um, uh, showing a lot of spirit, a lot of enterprise. Um, quite sort of, you know, up to the minute rugby, which is great to see because I think a few of our other franchises still lag a little bit, uh, even though they're trying to evolve and catch up to those, those sort of New Zealand type franchises. Um, so a very good win for them. Um, I did tip them to win it at Loftus. Uh, I thought that the Bulls, despite the win against the Hurricanes, they are still, you know, they're still doing those sort of baby steps. Uh, you've got to give them time. Uh, John Mitchell's not going to turn them into world beaters overnight. They're not ready to match the sort of, the, you know, that great Bulls team of uh, Victor Matfield, Farid Dupria, etc. yet. Uh, they don't have the personnel, I think, for, for starters. But uh, enough positives from them because they, they bounced back quite nicely when it looked like they were going to be thrashed. They suffered badly when they got mm -hmm. two yellow cards during the game, um, down to 13 men at one stage, which was when the tide really started to turn. So they'll take a few positives out of the game, the Bulls. You know, all is not lost for them. But uh, for the Lions, I mean, they've now made a bit of a runaway start to the South African yeah. Conference. Uh, three wins out of three, looking very good. Um, Stormers, uh, I'm afraid, uh, going 26, was a 26 nil down mm. after 19 minutes is an absolute horror show in Christchurch. And the only positive you can bank is that the Crusaders then lost a little bit of their luster. And the yeah. Stormers, to their credit, bounced back a little bit, a uh, came back quite well, 45-28 in the end. Uh, not the worst outcome in the world, but still lots of holes in that Stormers team. I'm afraid the back line has no punch. Mm. Um, and, and then the Sharks Waratahs, uh, it was a kiss your sister game. You know, a 24 all against the Waratahs in Durban has to be seen as a setback for them. You know, it's a game they would have expected to win. The Waratahs were useless last season seem to have shown a little bit more improvement so far. They've really beaten the Stormers in Sydney and then came to South Africa. And the Sharks threw the game away, really. Um, silly bit of play by Keegan Daniel taking a throw mm. into himself, which was quite costly. Although you can't just blame one player for that. There were lots of other faults. Um, so the Sharks were very hot and cold. Some very nice periods of rugby, but some also very ordinary periods as well. And it cost them dear because uh, that was a game I think they would have secretly banked uh, beforehand. And, uh, well, they, they banked it a little bit too soon. Mm. Garen, uh, the Bulls did also um, stage a bit of a, a fight back. Uh, do you think at the Lions there's still a little bit of um, a John Mitchell blueprint? Um, and just looking at how they've you know run away, as Rob said, with uh, you know three wins out of three, um, looking to be South Africa's strongest team yet again. Yeah, look, I mean, uh, it's still the very early days, as as Rob said. You know, it's, it's week three, but a lot of teams have only played two games. The, the Lions certainly um, a cut above the rest of the South African teams. It seems at this stage. Um, you know, they've sort of picked up where they've left off for the last two seasons. Three wins, you know, that's a great start to, the, to their season. As Rob said, they're scoring tries, which mm. is key. You know, you pick up bonus points that way as well. Um, you know, with Johan Ackerman obviously leaving, Swayze Brain coming in as a, his replacement at the head of, of the Lions. You know, he was sort of second charge to Johan Ackerman um, the last couple of seasons. So I think he's sort of fitted in well there. And, that, you know, we, I think off-season, I think I was on record as saying that the Lions might struggle a little bit. They've lost some key players. Mm. But they seem to have managed to fill those gaps without actually having signed any marquee names in the off-season, which a lot of the other South African teams actually did. So, you know, they've, they've beaten the, what, the Sharks at home, the Jaguars at home, and, and the Bulls away now. You know, obviously the, the test will come again when they travel, when they play some of the New Zealand teams in particular, both away and at home. Um, Australian conference looks fairly weak again this year, but that's sort of now the, the format mm -hmm. of the tournament is the same for everyone. Everyone gets to play everyone, at, you know, in, in, in this format, this season. But, um, yeah, um, the Lions are still expect to, you know, be the top South African contenders now. Um, the, the, the Stormers, sorry, as, as Rob said, you know, struggling to put together 80 minutes, start off slow. They actually won the last 60 mm -hmm. minutes of their match. So, you know, that's something some positive to take from that, even though they picked up a number of injuries. And the Sharks will be kicking themselves for dropping two, maybe even three points at home against the Waratahs team that were fairly lucky to even beat the Stormers at home the previous weekend. So, you know, the, the South African teams, like always, it seems, starting off slow, finishing strong, but not good enough at the end of the day. That's sort of, sort of like the, the story we, we find every weekend of every season, unfortunately. 
But um, yeah, so like I said, very still very mm. much early days. Yeah. Um, injuries seem to be you know cropping up in a lot of the teams, which is a bit of a worrying factor considering you know June tests, um, mid year tests aren't actually that far away now. So anyone picking up sort of the, the 12 to 14 mm. week injury is going to be a doubt to be ready and fit and match fit in particular for those mid year tests. So a lot of uh, concerns across the board for I think a number of teams. But certainly if I was a Lions fan, I'd be the happiest at the moment.